I, apparently it's not so secret. I, it was secret to me, but I realized that there was this under the radar, possibly new studio that's rumored from Sony, a uh, first party studio. Mm -hmm. So we'll get to some of the uh, details here. This is from uh, pushsquare.com. We got Sammy Barker. Sony's not so secret, new first party, first party studio adds more Naughty Dog talent. Uh, so it's probably the worst kept secret in the industry at the moment, but Sony has a new first party studio or first party team based in San Diego, and it's expected to be working on the Uncharted franchise. As a reminder that the studio continues to recruit talent, Naughty Dog environment artist Zach Oliver, who most Zach Oliver, who most recently worked on Last of Us Part Two, has joined the team. Oliver made the transition to the Visual Arts Studio group last month, presumably having completed his work on Ellie's sophomore adventure. He'll serve as senior environment artist on an unannounced project, which many expect to be some kind of Uncharted sequel or spinoff. While the VASG division is primarily primarily responsible for motion capture, the Japanese giant has been building a studio development studio off of it. PlayStation Visual Arts has a new game development team in partnership with a major Sony studio, said PlayStation talent acquisition lead Fiona Trebak in a Twitter post a couple years back. It's been staffing up pretty hard ever since, and we'd expect it to have something to show within the next 18 months or so, presumably for PlayStation 5. Um, yeah, uh, Calum, I don't know your thoughts on this. Um, I haven't heard of this kind of, uh, these rumors and stuff going on, but maybe it was something we talked about and I completely forgot, but, um, or this isn't what we think and they're just kind of revamping the VR aspect, or no, the uh, motion capture VR aspect, because they mentioned that that's primarily what that studio, what that outlet has done. But uh, what are your thoughts mm -hmm. on that? Yeah, so yeah, I, I've heard I've heard about this new Sony San Diego outfit uh, having Uncharted, uh, you know, having Uncharted pass on to them for quite a few years now. I've I've sort of heard mm -hmm. it, um, and it's what because what it is, it's Sony San Diego who work on MLB the Show, um, gotcha. and basically their their suit, which makes them a huge amount of money. Allegedly, I mean, I have no idea. We don't we don't we don't baseball over here, but um, I hear <laughs> nor do MLB we apparently, like, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I, I've heard that MLB the show like sells like millions and I'm millions sure. um, of copies. So I think Sony San Diego have got you know good, good, um, good bit of budget. Um, yeah, I've heard that they split their team, and uh, yeah, the rumors have been for a long time that they they they've had Uncharted passed on to them. So um, that's that's interesting to see. You know the kind of. Um, uh, what's the word? Sort of profession that they've gone for um, for 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 this project so it, it is pointing towards uncharted for sure and motion capture i mean is definitely towards a cinematic sort of thing like uncharted so it'd be really cool um i mean i'd love to see another uncharted game and i'd love to see it not come from naughty dog so i really want naughty dog to make something new um but if if this is a thing i kind of hope naughty dog aren't going to make a third person game because I mean that if, if if Naughty Dog's next game is a third person game, then we've got God of War, Uncharted, um, Ghost of Tsushima. We've got all these third Horizon. person exclusives. Um, yeah, Horizon. Um, and I think they just need to mix it up a little bit, just because it's getting a bit. Agreed. I mean, I, I I can't get enough of them, but you know, just just to try and diversify the genres um, a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, it's really cool. It's it's nice that it's it's uh, you know there's there's some more sort of. Um, meat on the bones for that uh, story so um yeah it's cool i mean i love uncharted um i'd love to see more of it um i mean it doesn't even have to involve nathan drake or sully or any of the characters i just love the whole treasure hunting uh, sort of aspect i mean we were talking earlier about the mummy returns and like, right. i love that and i love indiana jones i love the whole like um archaeology treasure hunting kind of aspect it's just so interesting and you could just um you know have so just millions of games based on on that kind of thing really it's just it's just really nice comfort food really and yeah i'd, I'd love for that to be more of it yeah and i mean same here one of my um worries i guess and it's, it's such a dumb outside work because i know nothing about the realities of it but uh is it more of a risk to develop and kind of work on this newer studio of, of course you're acquiring these like high profile talent especially people from naughty dog but is it more of a risk to have this kind of new studio handle such a huge property and not go with like another established sony first party that maybe is in between projects that could do something like that say the days get uh, gone dev something like that maybe that's too similar but like another studio that could handle because of they've already put out content they've already put out games and 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 answer that call do you think it's uh, this not at all like the same kind of risk uh what are your thoughts on that uh, i don't know i mean i think sony's first party um sort of environment from what i've heard is very tight and very uh well 
uh, organized um, in terms of sort of like we were saying sort of about them sharing things and helping each other out yeah. I think I think there won't be any problems from I, I can't imagine there'd be any real issues from that um, perspective I mean Sony Bend themselves they made Uncharted Golden Abyss on the Vita and that was you know a hit especially um, on the hardware it was on um, so yeah I think I think a game like Uncharted as well like I said it is I think it, it, especially without the Naughty Dog moniker on it, I think that there would be a lot of pressure off of it, especially if they just chose new characters. I think that, again, it would release a lot of pressure. And it's difficult to make... Well, I, I, I say it's difficult to make. That's completely wrong. But it's, it's difficult to sort of make a game like Uncharted that is just fun and cheesy and just enjoyable. Uh, sort of, it's hard to make that, you know, a bad, a bad experience. Um, again, going back to Uncharted Golden Abyss, everyone loved that game, and you know, it didn't it didn't do anything necessarily, uh, you know, amazing or anything. It was just fun to play because it's you know, like like I said, treasure hunting, and it, it's intriguing and it's funny and it's you know, got a lot of character. Um, so yeah, I, I think if it is Uncharted, I think that they they shouldn't have any problems. I think it'd be a welcome a welcome addition to. Uh, whatever Sony have got uh, in in store, especially with everything going so dark with Last of Us Two, right? And, uh, Ghost of Tsushima looks quite uh, gritty, and uh, Days Gone's very dark and gritty. So it'd be nice to have Uncharted just lighten the mood a little bit. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, that was just one of my um, wonders: is that like, uh, is it riskier to have this new team? But yeah, you're right. I mean, they, they're as long as they're sharing the. Um, the tools enough in like acquiring mm. the same kind of talent then and i trust them yeah they the, the fact that they understand they can't fuck it up they can't try and release yeah. another uncharted separate from naughty dog that is lackluster like it has to be at yeah. that same i don't know if you, you can never nail the same polish as naughty dog but if you can still provide no, like yeah. some something that's the same overall experience then then you're good and i think that's a franchise yeah. that you can keep mining you can keep working on other characters uh I, although at the yeah. same time it's like didn't nathan drake didn't they acquire all the treasure i feel like there's everything that they've every secret lead <laughs> that ship that sank and that no yeah. one knew about yeah like I, they found everything i think it'd be a big mistake to do it about nathan drake after uncharted 4 i mean if uh, they were to do it about nathan drake it'd have to be like like golden abyss was like you know at some point between like in his career like it, i suppose you could set it anywhere between the games um but i think the way it ended like the fourth game with um you know their daughter i think it, that she could be a cool new protagonist you know um Again, it's very lighthearted, so you don't have to sort of over overthink. I mean, I know that Uncharted does have an amazing story, um, and Uncharted Four did get a little bit dark at points, but um, yeah, I think I think it is lighthearted enough just to have like you know you know why not have Nathan Drake's daughter go off on an adventure and right. um, hopefully it's not hopefully it's not about Nathan Drake's daughter getting revenge for someone killing um, her dad yeah. with a golf club. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, me but, too. Uh, but yeah, no, I, th I think that'd be cool. I think I think I think a, like a, a female lead. I mean, I'd, like kind of like it'd be like a Tomb Raider kind of thing, I suppose. Yeah. Um, that'd be really cool. I think that'd be a cool perspective, and it would um, separate it enough, I think, just from having that different perspective as well. Uh, it's like Lost Legacy is one of my favourite Uncharted games, oh, yeah. um, and and that was just a standalone DLC. But just that chemistry that Chloe and Nadine had. Um, I mean, even if it was to be set with Chloe and Nadine, I mean, who knows? It, it, there's a lot that they can extract from this without having to use Nathan Drake. I don't think Nathan Drake has to be a part of the game um but yeah i mean i'd be happy either way to be honest I'd, i'm i'm easily pleased to be honest when it comes to <laughs> things like uncharted <laughs> yeah no i agree i think um they could easily do other characters and and yeah i'm super stoked i want to see that hopefully soon like i'm i'm actually yeah for some reason i'm more maybe after it's after the last of us but like i want that experience again and of course i could just go back and play uncharted 4 but i want to see like the yeah. next iteration on that kind of pulp action kind of gameplay yeah yeah you've made me want to play the uh hd collection now i think i i haven't i need to get the platinum on the second and third one actually so maybe i'll i'll look at doing that soon <laughs> i will not be doing that i'm not, <laughs> i have no interest in, in torturing well, I, I, as soon as that as soon as that came out that hd trilogy i did them all on crushing difficulty like i remember I, I got them and i just sat down for like three days and just did all three of them on the hardest difficulty Damn. and then i haven't gone back to them since um so it'll have to it'll just be getting all the treasures and all that which there's some tough levels be, I mean, I, oh yeah they're, like they're, the train they're, they're, with the with the helicopter attacking you like i remember dying a bunch there 
in the second yeah, one. They are really unforgiving games. I think the first one was really irritating because it was just like quite old and mm. um, enemies used to just throw grenades constantly. Uncharted 4 is one I wouldn't even want to try and crush in because that was just such a difficult game. Uh, even on normal, I died so much in Uncharted 4. Yeah. But, but I also don't think Uncharted 4 is quite as replayable as the first three. I think, I think Uncharted 4 was a bit too last of us like it was very exploration and I, I, i'm not saying exploration is bad but it was very like non-linear and i just, I yeah, just want sure. a really linear hollywood um fun comfort like um you know romp like you know that's like an indiana jones-esque uh, yep. fun story or or the mummy returns or whatever and yeah, I thought Uncharted 4 was just a bit... Um, I, I did love it. It's a brilliant game, but it, it's definitely the weakest Uncharted for me. 